Welcome. In today's video, I will discuss the current mining situation and if the opportunity to mine helium is still profitable. I will leave any relevant links in the description below. Since the introduction of halving and more hotspots added to the network, my miners have been earning two to three times less. Many hotspot owners will be facing the exact same issue and some might be worried if the investment was even worth it. This simply comes down to one question. Do you believe in the project or not? Personally, I am invested in healing for the long term, and I'll tell you four valuable reasons why. Number one, understand the bigger picture. I'll keep this very simple. For a telecom provider such as T-Mobile, trying to cover a city with 5G coverage can cost billions, so it is not sustainable or profitable for a single company to do this worldwide, especially in rural areas. Healing provides the solution of covering cities in remote, and densely populated locations by allowing the people to own the network. If there were no hotspots, there will be no coverage, so there will always be an incentive to hotspot owners to provide coverage. Internet of Things is just a starter. If this wireless network can successfully be rolled out worldwide with the implementation of 5G technology, you can start comparing the network to telecom giants such as AT&T. So you can only imagine the value of helium and what it can offer in the long term. As they say, see beyond the stars. Number two, venture capital investment. As the network evolves, more and more investors do not want to miss the opportunity before the ship sells. On August 10th, Helium had secured the largest investment to date by venture capital investment firm A16Z. They fueled $111 million to aid the expansion of the Helium network. The firm have a wide portfolio of $18.8 billion invested in successful and growing companies. So what does this mean to miners? First of all, if a multi-billion dollar firm with a huge success rate of investments has pumped money into Helium, it should clearly show that this is a project they see future potential in. With more investment pushed into the network, the project is capable to expand at a faster rate. And in return, just like any company growing exponentially, its value starts to rise. Number three, validators and staking. Over 22.5 million HNT has been staked by validators alone. That's equivalent to almost $500 million based on the price of HNT at the time of this video. When crypto is staked by validators, it means it is locked up in the ecosystem and you are rewarded in forms of interest or validation. So the incentive is not to trade what you have put in. What this means is less HNT coins are available to purchase within exchanges, which decreases the relative supply, opposed to if staking did not take place. For miners, this means even if you will mine less HNT, as more is held and staked, the more likely the coin will go up in value over time. Number four, mining during a bear market. Many undermine the huge potential in the long term of running a helium hotspot. Unlike mining rigs that will cost you a huge amount of electricity, these miners take hardly any power to run. Some mining rigs have to close up during a bear market as running the miners costs more than the crypto earnings. For LoRaWAN devices, these electrical costs are cheap. However, they do consume data, so if you do have a good internet source, you can keep mining throughout a bear market, accumulate HNT, and then take profits during a bull run. So what is my conclusion? Personally, if you are in the project for the short term, it might not be worthwhile as it did a few months ago. However, you can upgrade your setup or create a solid network of five miners where they all witness each other to experience a faster return. If you do see a future of what Helium are trying to achieve and want to be a part of the entire journey, then this is a potential lucrative project. I have not made this video for financial advice, but more to focus on the means of the project and what it is set to achieve. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please do give it a thumbs up, do subscribe and stay tuned for more mining and crypto content. Thank you all for watching. Peace.